Good morning, everyone. It's early Sunday morning. I'm being quiet. I've already been out for my walk with my dog. We've had 100 degree temperatures in the last two, three days, and they're exhausting. Um, people are out early as well, walking their dogs or people playing tennis across the way. I love it. It's absolutely wonderful. Take advantage of this life first thing in the morning before it gets so hot you can't stand it. If you are in the part of the world, I'm in California. And oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't watch the news, but what I am hearing and understanding um, is about the fires who are just, California is just burning up and I don't know, as a side note, I honestly believe that California is burning up and or turning into a desert. I just, and the real estate here is so expensive. People flock here. But every year we go through this, we say, oh my gosh, you know, we want to be someplace where there's four seasons. But come the fall, it is absolutely gorgeous and we can't tear ourselves away. <laughs> anyway, I'm uh, allowing you guys to look at the garden there. Beyond that fence is the creek and there is a teen center, a recreational center, a tennis courts, and that's where people go. Um, long story short, my message for today is about doing the inner work. <clears throat> and uh, hold on one second. Sorry about that. <laughs> 222 two, two on my timer. That was my little dog, Finn. That's what he does when he wants in. I'm trying to be quiet. I was talking about doing the inner work and uh, slash healing. That means to... What do I mean by inner work? It's going within to figure out who you are. Uh, what you want your life to be. Uh, who your life is really <laughs> um we come here to be uh to live a life as a human and when we're in this body we forget when we come here why we come here and um i don't know it takes living some life it takes myself i must say it takes going through something traumatic to wake up uh, it's all divine we are part of the divine so it takes us going through something to awaken us to shock us awake if if that makes sense you know what I'm saying um, and for me I started feeling it a long time ago I waited until I was in my 30s to start having my children and that's when I was ready to have them and um, I started seeing life from a non-selfish way. I mean, having children should make you not selfish. It teaches you to think about something, someone other than yourself. And my children did this for me. And that's when I think I started to wake up. I became a yard duty at their school. And my heart started going out to kids, to children. I started seeing, because children are so different on the playground from who they are inside the classroom, trust me. <sighs> you wanna get to know kids, go out on the playground and hang out with them. Listen to that, people are so happy, I love it. It's so nice and cool, oh my God. It's gonna be so hot today, anyway trying to stay focused. I've made, I have attempted this video five times when I took my dog for a walk in the, uh, around the city hall, but there was a lot of people walking their dogs because of the same thing. 
very thing I'm doing. We're avoiding the heat later. Uh, so I'm talking about doing the inner work. And we all arrive at this point in our divine time. And for me, it started when I had my kids. As I said, I was married. Uh, we were starting to drift apart a long time ago. We have had issues from the time that we got married, really. And that's a, another story. I am a writer. I've been writing since I was 13. And I've got a book that I'm writing. And that's where I'm going to put all of, all of that story. <laughs> but to get me where I am, I started to focus on people and things other than myself when I had kids. And um, being yard duty helped me to do that. I started, you know, with other kids, uh, turned my, my uh, life with, within into my kids. Um, and then got my divorce, I started around 2014, became final 2016. And <laughs> one moment, taking a sip of my coffee. Um, got uh, involved with the Young Living Oils. I'm going to give a shout out to them. Young Living Essential Oils. They are oils that are ex totally pure uh, from the earth, from plants. And they caused me to really open up my life as it was already starting. That helped tremendously. And we, well, I started to become plant-based. And my kids followed. Took them another year or two years after. But that's when I started to realize what was most important. And I started to connect the dots of life and realize that we're all part of God. We're all part of each other. And I got real. I got real with myself and uh, stopped, you know, stopped eating meat and dairy and realized that, hey man, we're all connected and, you know, uh, how can habits are not needs? <laughs> I started to rethink everything. And so then the other big thing was my kids and I were homeless after this divorce. It was, divorce is not fun for anyone. Don't let anyone fool you. And I, I just want to say I, I have nothing against money. I believe money helps make the world go round. It certainly makes things easier. And yes, I desire a bunch of it, but I don't have it. So that's another <laughs> another thing. It's uh, a vibration and it's energy and it's how you, it's your belief system and your faith and how you believe. And I'm slowly getting there, but it exploded our lives, this divorce, and we lost everything. That means our home, our car, everything in that home disintegrated and we were homeless. And that's for my book as well. I won't get into that here. But we spent 10 months floundering and trying to find ourselves. And we got involved with the oils. And the oils helped point us in this direction. And I know I went from being working in the schoolyard with kids to getting divorced to being homeless to getting involved with the oils. And here we are. Here I am today and, you know, awakening every single day. Everybody does. And it's a divine timing for everyone, for everything. And uh, healing, doing the inner work and going through all of that causes you to peel back the layers of your onion. That is, those are walnuts hitting people's houses, by the way. So I hope one doesn't hit me or my table. I've got a big walnut tree over my head. And squirrels like to <laughs> throw walnuts at me. I do feed the squirrels and I do give them peanuts. But they also love their walnuts. Anyway. Um, I recognize what is most important. And 
now there's nothing better than being outside as much as I can with my thoughts, with nature, um, doing this once a day at, at the least and two or three times at the most if I can. And uh, journaling and painting and getting real and doing the inner work and getting to know the most important person and that's me and and getting quiet and knowing what's most important in life and it's about more than things you know material things it's about being present and being in the moment being right where you are and really thinking about what is important to you and, and what you have to do on this earth. It happens for everyone in different times and different ways. And it's taken me many years from the time that I was in my late 30s until now, 30 some years, to get to this point to wake up. And there's, I've never been happier in my life than I am right now. And I'm with my kids. We're all roommates together. And uh, my animals. And what is most important is right here and right now. And getting real. So you want to heal, go within, think, think about yourself. Think about the path you've walked in your life. Think about the people you've come in contact with what they've taught you, what you've taught them, what you've learned primarily, what you've learned from each other, what you've learned from this path this far, you know, thus far. What have you learned? And we've all learned something. And I say, get your head out of social media. And this is when I say, uh, I got off of Facebook. I'm really not on Instagram. The only reason... I'm on Instagram is to see the things about vegan news, to see the animal news, because I follow Lady Free Thinker. Both of my kids are still on Instagram. My son, or my daughter, not so much as my son, but we share information with each other there. I've got a couple, three key people there besides my kids who I follow. But I don't really spend a lot of time. I used to post there daily with my oils. But I've been there, done that. I, I got tired of being, you know, dancing every day to prove a point. And I've come to the realization that I don't need to do that anymore. I know who I am. I know what the oils have helped teach me. I share. And so no Facebook because I've realized Facebook should be called Nosebook. It's extremely nosy and invasive. And so I bowed out and recently I tried to get back on for a friend and trust me on this, once you get off there, then they don't know you. So, and that's weird too, because they know everything about you on Facebook. So could not get back on. And I say, oh, well, to me, that is divine as well. That is a sign. <laughs> Um, I'm on Twitter occasionally because I have writing friends on Twitter, but I've settled on YouTube and I'm making YouTubes about this very subject, becoming who you're meant to be, becoming who you are. And, um, that's what healing means. Uh, doing the inner work means healing. Healing means doing the inner work. Doing the inner work means healing. And there's never, there's not an end result. It's a, it's an unfolding every single day of who you are. It's not the end result of anything. It's not, you know, winning anything. It's not, you know, oh, I found the answers. Yeah, you do. Every single day you unfold. Every single day you peel back the layers of your onion and you find out more and more true self, more and more gold, um, more and more who you are. And let me tell you something, nature helps you do that. 
if you can get outside at least once a day. For me right now, it is early morning before the heat of the day starts, literally. If you can spend your time in your day doing something from your heart, heart-centered creativity. For me, it's writing and painting, uh, cooking, things like that where you get out of your head and you become quiet with yourself and listen because the divine will speak with you. Your spirit team will speak with you and you start to find out what is real. Get away from the noise outside of yourself and go within and listen. Um, and when you get quiet and listen more, you find out more. And being in nature helps you do that. Walking your dog in the early morning looks nice and cool. <sighs> anyway, I know. Tried to be quick. Ooh, 1555. That's a sign. I'm going to go. I'm going to leave you guys with that. Um, the main message I have is to tell you that there is no box. People create boxes for themselves. Get outside of it and go within for your answers. And when you go sit in nature, that will help you do that. Get real. Get away from the noise, the hustle and bustle, and listen. Listen to the divine. The divine is connected to you. You are connected to the divine. We are connected with everything, with each other, with the animals, with the plants, with the trees, with everything. You're not separate from anything. So think about how you live your life. Think about what you listen to. Think about what you watch. Think about what you eat and get real. Anyway, peace, blessings. I will be back as soon as I possibly can. You guys, get real with yourselves. Do the inner work.